Okay, time for another five minute session. Um, this is chapter two. And I will show you some vector math. We have now in chapter one used math, and by using math, we could get this shape. Using vector math is using math directly on the vector, meaning that we use both or all three of the numbers that come from a vector in some type of combination. It could be really simple and it could be harder, but we start with the simple thing. So my goal today is to make this shorter and by using vector math. So I press Shift A, go to Converter, and here you can see vector math. And the difference between vector math and normal math visually is that you have blue on the vector math in the notes here instead of gray. So if we start looking at what we have here, we have subtract, multiply, absolute, subtract again. So we try to do that with vector math. So we put subtract here, put that up here. And what we should do now is thinking that this is x, this is y, this is z direction. So x direction 0 0.5, like this, and this 0 0.5. And if I now take away the subtract here, because I have a subtract here, it should be the same thing that we had from the beginning. So just remove this one, and then we remove this one. And we are back. And we have taken away one node. We do the same with multiply. So Shift D, copy, multiply, and then it should be two here, and two here. And we can now take away the multiply here, and we can take away the multiply here. And we have erased another node, so it's getting shorter. Then we have the absolute. So do we have an absolute here? Vector math absolute. Yes, we have. So we can just use that one instead. Put it in here, and then it will do absolute for both of these numbers. We can now take away these two, like this. So, we are nearly there. And then we have the subtract, and we know that we have subtract earlier on, so we can just use that as well. Copy this one, Shift D, put it up here, and put this in the bottom, because we should have the value at the top. Put one here, and one here, and now remove the subtract, and it should be the same again. So, then we have it like this. And we have now decreased everything by just using vector math. It's almost the same as you could see. There are very specific formulas and functions with vector math, which I will show you later on. But most of them is really simple. It's subtract, multiply, and so on. It's just that we do it on the x-axis, the y-axis, and the z in the same node. So that is to simplify it. We can even simplify it more, not by reducing the amount of uh, nodes, but the multiply here means that we are multiplying two, two on x and y. We can just use something called scale, and then put the two here. And that would be the same thing, because scale is the same as multiply if you use the same number on all directions. So I can put a, a number three here if I want to, and then you can see this is shrinking a bit because we get another value in here. But what it does then is that it multiplies with uh, 8.5 in this case for x, and 8.5 for y, and 8.5 for z direction. And we would like this to be two. So that is that about uh, vector math. And if I just do like this, you can see uh, there is much more to learn about this. But now you have the base. So just think of it as math, but for all the different types of numbers at the same time here. So. That was those five minutes, and I will go through some more vector math and function in the next chapter. See you there, and bye for now.